My name is Lamar Cook, and I'm an operator out here at NEMAC in Plant 2, and I am grateful to be here today. I grew up in a hard community, a hard poverty. It was just hard, period. I even went to prison twice. You know, I really struggled a little bit in school a little bit because I really didn't have no mind frame to, to do what I wanted to do until I got out of school and realized I really messed up. But I overcome it, you know, and I've been on a straight path ever since. Getting a job at NEMAC can be life-changing for some individuals. Well, NEMAC has offered jobs in, in a pay scale that uh, very few other companies can offer in this community. So it, it provides excellent financial opportunities to our community, and we know that when we pay good wages, those wages are spent in the community many times over. Um, so the more jobs, that we can offer the more folks that will benefit either directly or indirectly when those monies are spent. An individual working here, or even better, multiple family members working at our site can lift a family out of a poverty situation. I mean, it's, NEMAC is bringing growth to our community and that's a major major thing that we need. They're moving here, they're buying homes here, which makes our population grow. Then we have, you know, investors come in and look and see that our population has grown due to, you know, jobs at NEMAC. Those are the highest paying jobs that we have here in Talladega County, those that are in manufacturing. So NEMAC has had a big effect on our economy since they've been here and they continue to have a, a big effect on our economy. One of 15 plants worldwide, and here we are, Little silicaga has got a NEMAC manufacturing, and here right in the middle of silicaga and they employ so many people, and the wages and the benefits, and these are people that's helped us make us grow. About 20, 25% of our graduates from high school may not go to college. So what do we do with them? We've got to get them into the workforce. Right now our schools are teaching kids about robotics uh, because of the robotics in our high school today because NEMAC provided the robotic arms to teach the kids the basics of robotics. Through the efforts that NEMAC put forth with the new market tax credits, it opened up new opportunities for us to increase and support our workforce here. Uh, I think their culture um, within their workplace speaks volumes for uh, the quality of employee that they have and I think a lot of the fact that they are involved in the community and these new market tax credits allow that involvement. And NEMAC has continued to be a vital part of our community and um, I have to speak to the work they have done specifically with us in helping to build a workforce and what they have done with our program we call Workforce Ready where we are training individuals to be ready uh, to work, to build stackable credentials, to be able to get on the job and be successful and we have some success stories with NEMAC that have been featured all over the state of Alabama. An example of an individual that has benefited from workforce development programs in our collaborative efforts with SAFE would be Mr. Lamar Cook. As I work with SAFE in many programs, I get to see individuals being recognized for achievements they have at SAFE, and Lamar had checked many boxes there. He pursued and completed his high school diploma. He had many programs at SAFE that he was completing and he stood out as, as an individual that we wanted at NEMAC. Oh, I see my future going great, well. In the next 10 years, I'm planning on to be the supervisor out here and I wouldn't say 
plant manager yet, but I'm working on it. I'm working on being a better person up here in NEMAC, trying to build my goals to be one of the plant managers or a very high supervisor. And I think I can reach that in the next 10 years if I work hard at it. If you got a goal in life, keep going with it. Anything is possible, anything can happen. You just gotta put your mind and your heart to it. Cause I didn't believe I was gonna be where I'm at right now before I started to save them. Like I said, I was on the road to destruction. And when I got that phone call and I called to save them, it changed my life.